Here's the VK3YE Micro 40 DSB transceiver. Uh, amazing frequency coverage that I achieved with this the 7.2 megahertz resonator that I got from hamshop.cz uh, with just one 1N4004 diode, I've achieved a coverage of 7183 kHz to 7295 kilohertz. And two other people that I know that also have resonators from the same source achieved very similar coverage. It's quite amazing. Anyway, let's turn the volume up. I don't have long to record on this video, so let's get some tuning in. Yeah, the tuning's fairly critical because it's not a multi-turn yeah. part, but you do get used to it. That's got to be the uh, treadmill. Oh, oh. Things just like that, you know. Um, it, especially with all these nowhere that I go uh, down there and come up and come around the corner or whatever. It's like <laughs> thinking they're going to get robbed or something. Oh, we already listened to that guy, didn't we? There's a weaker signal. Oh, we kind of a weak signal there. Oh, and it's early evening, so the broadcast stations are starting to creep in on 40 meters. So not too much activity right now. You know, there's a little bit of uh, gentle filtering on the audio circuit, so it's not quite quite as wide open as some direct conversion receivers are, which is nice. So you don't get a lot of the really high frequency sort of hissing. And the LM386 is configured without that 10 microfarad cap between pins 1 and 8. It's not there. So you, there's, it, 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 there's not a horrible amount of hiss. It's actually really good. Um, it's quite a nice sounding receiver and I'm, I'm really surprised. No broadcast band breakthrough whatsoever. Look, let me tune to a clear frequency. Turn the volume right up. There we go, see? No, no broadcast brand breakthrough whatsoever. So there we go, there it is. And on one of the other videos, we'll, uh, we'll do some transmitting. We'll do some transmitting soon.